So, the Gov Act 2014 competition is over. I'm with a horse. There were 209 teams from 11 cities, all making awesome stuff with data. There were four weeks to vote now for your favourite hack, so get going. In the hacker space, each of you has nominated a team contact. Some of those team contacts are going to be invited to come along to the Red Carpet Awards to represent your team as finalists for the night. Not all teams that win, however, are obviously going to be at the awards, so make sure that you tune in to the Red Carpet Awards on August the 10th from 7pm to 8.30pm um, Australian Eastern Standard Time so you can see who all the winners from the national competition are. Or you can go along to your local awards night. Most of the local award nights will be on the 10th of August too, but some aren't, so make sure you check with your local organisers. We may as well take a moment while we're talking about the Red Carpet Award to announce who our MC will be, our mysterious MC. It's going to be Mr. Adam Spencer. So we're really looking forward to seeing you there, Adam, and helping us celebrate. Local competition awards will be announced at your local award nights. So check again with your local organisers about when those nights are. At each location, local organisers have been watching the teams closely to see who should win the Local Spirit of GovHack Award. We're really pleased to announce the Local Spirit of GovHack winners for each site. The Local Spirit of GovHack winners are... Gold Coast, TM2ES. They've been awarded as they've demonstrated a great attitude throughout the weekend. They began a very well organised team with clearly defined roles. They worked together effectively and attended the entire weekend. They made great progress and have shown commitment to the event by attending last year but not winning a prize and coming back the, this year to complete again. Brisbane, the team Futura. They all met each other for the first time here. One of the members volunteered as a helper. He was very shy and sat by himself, but we encouraged him to go and talk to people. He was stocking the fridge and cleaning the kitchen and struck up conversation with some people as they came into the kitchen and then formed a team and worked on their entry until 4 a.m. They were back again working on it this morning they were, and, and again today and were very enthusiastic. Tasmania, the team, the settlers of GovHack. This team exhibited great collaboration and cooperation. All the team members were strangers and formed the team on Friday night and put in some of the longest hours overnight, and were still willing to contribute to the event by taking event photos and generally creating a positive atmosphere. Canberra. Team Mind the App. They discovered some dependencies in the mobile Canberra code base that was blocking them and others using the code. Rather than giving up or changing course, they contacted the original developers, resolved the dependencies, and then released a fork on Saturday to allow other competitors a shot at the same prize they were competing for. They received the award for their work improving the code base for future use, enabling other competitors during the event, and for all their dogged pursuit of the original developers on the weekend. Melbourne, the team Harry. Ballarat had a bit of an impossible task. As the first time runners of GovHack, they were so impressed by everyone. They were, everyone was marked by an unequivocal spirit of collaboration, exchange, and genuine mutual support. Rival team members freely walked in and out of each other's team areas and talked about what they were doing. Naturally, it was a little quiet and tense now, but nonetheless, throughout the weekend, have been very collegiate. So Ballarat settled on splitting the prize between two teams who showed the spirit in different ways. In no particular order, the Environmental Justice Planner team. They set the tone for collaboration from the start, were inclusive inviting people to talk to others about joining. Dave had expertise in the tree area and has readily shared that expertise during the entire comp with other competitors. The other team, Snapshot of Change. They're the Melbourne-based, they joined the Ballarat event and drove up Friday night after booking accommodation. Ag's husband was supposed to fly back from China on Saturday, missed the plane, the children needed to be looked after, so they drove back to Melbourne on Saturday very sad. They decided to stay in the comp, but didn't want to hold Dave and Brendan back, so they set up their own project and kept going remotely. Good on them. Mount Gambia had joint winners, BTB Enterprises and GYPCS Unleashed. Perth. The Perth Spirit of GovHack winner is Goldfield Through Time, for the team that embodied the most spirit of GovHack by successfully bringing together a diverse set of individuals and skills on a creative project. The winners for Sydney are a team who formed on Friday night. They also took on two younger people and have all been working very well together. They executed very well and have been super organised. This morning they progressed enough to give a literal elevator pitch in the elevator. And finally, from our Sydney satellite site at Sydney University, Med Money. Nominated because they're tackling the big social issues right now. Far North Queensland, the team Tropical Tweakers for being the most courageous hackers in Cairns and diving into the unknown. Also, they turned up. Adelaide, on the spot, a team that formed on the spot, all mixed skills and newbies to hackathons, including an entrepreneur who can't code and a graphic designer, a coder who came last year and went solo, a coder and maker who's been amazing at helping the team come together, sharing ideas and tips with other teams, and the team have been amazing with sharing their ideas, joining others at meal breaks and all-round awesomeness. 
We've put up a GovHack data feedback form. We want you to tell us what data sets you loved and what data sets could be improved. We'll pass on that information back to the data custodians in government to hopefully help open up more data in better quality for next year. Don't forget to promote your projects because there's a People's Choice Award for the most popularly voted hack. So GovHack is about building community. Uh, so make sure you join a project or stay in touch with some of your fellow GovHackers. Develop your skills, um, maybe ask more for government data and continue to work on your projects. Uh, for those who have opted into the Open Knowledge Foundation mailing list, you'll be getting your first email soon and continue to just stay in touch. We encourage you to join or to even start your own Open Knowledge Foundation Australia events in your local city. So we'll see you at the Red Carpet Awards, whether virtually or in meet space, on the 10th of August. A huge thank you to everyone that's been involved uh, to make GovPack the huge success it has been. Uh, thank you to the national sponsors, to the local sponsors, to all of the volunteers, government supporters, and of course to all of you, because without you it wouldn't be GovHack. Uh, please make sure that you uh, tag any of your, your photos or your tweets or, or YouTube or Instagram or whatever your social media of choice is with hash GovHack. And please take the time to thank your local organisers. They've put in a huge amount of effort to make sure that you guys have had a great time. And I think we can all agree it's been a, a wonderful weekend. So I'm Pia War, officially closing GovHack 2014. I'll see you guys on the red carpet.